Welcome to the Balancing Robot course. In this course, we are going to uh, build this kind of really cool robot together. So the first uh, question is why I decided to create this content. So when I was a student, I, I was really uh, passionate about robotics and embedded programming. But at that time, I used to spend most of my time finding the right resources instead of really doing things, endlessly doing Google search to find the materials. Sometimes I find something very trivial. Sometimes I find very difficult, very complicated things, but it was always hard to find the right thing. So then um, after many years, of course, I get a lot of experience and knowledge. And then I decided to create the, the content um, I wish uh, I had at that time, which is uh, detailed, uh, with with full guidance, and with and the project based. So when you learn things, you have some uh, meaning, like some objective you want to achieve. So when you learn this way, it is much much easier and and uh, and much more exciting. So so that's why um, I decided to create this course and uh, why balancing robot um, because um, there are a lot of of course different projects uh, but uh, for uh, introductory level or for intermediate level i think it's a really great project because it involves all the um, all important fields in robotics uh, first of course is embedded programming so you have to know how to uh, program the microcontroller. In our case, we will work with the STM32 microcontroller. So you will learn how to do the motor control, how to communicate with the IEMU sensor and the very other essential topics. And also the second thing is signal processing. Okay, once you get the IEMU sensor, we have to find the tilt angle. And for that, we need to use different kind of filtering like uh, like simple uh, complementary filter or more advanced like like Kalman filter or also we might have some moving average filter so all these topics are really important and the third we have to we have some mechanical design mechanical engineering of course here the frame is not so complicated but your imagination is just limitation because you can make it much more advanced like adding new things like a seven motor and the different things so we have um, also mechanical engineering and also the control systems that's i think a really essential topic so once you have the emu sensor and and the motors you have to um, implement an algorithm to keep the balancing robot in upright position so that's a really interesting engineering uh, problem so we are going to uh, cover all these topics uh, all these topics step by step so first we start with the dc motor control so here we will cover theory we will cover motor drivers and also we will uh, write um, code to generate a PWM signal. So, um, so the first chapter is not only DC motor control, but also it's a lot of embedded system topics. So we can build the base to advance further. Then we will cover incremental encoders so we can get the position and velocity. So later we will use it for the position control. And then we have really, really interesting and very important topic, PAD controller. So you will learn how to implement it. Uh, you will learn theory and implementation it within the microcontroller. Then we have a moving average filter, also another important thing. Then we have a RC joystick integration so we can control our robot remotely. Then we have the attitude estimation so we will communicate with the IME sensor, then we will use different filtering to find out the tilt angle. That's really, really interesting and important topic. Um, then we have linear quadratic regulator, which is um, something, similar, something similar to the PID controller, but a bit more advanced. 
that's going to be a lot of uh, interesting and important things here you're going to learn then we have a um, stepper motor integration so at the beginning i will use stepper mo dc motor so i'm sorry uh, at the beginning i will use dc motor because it's much simpler to work with them but then eventually we will also use the stepper motor to to build our balancing robot and also there will be small uh, complementary ch uh, chapter about the pcb design so that's uh, content of the course as you see you're gonna learn a lot of lot of topics very important things and you can apply all this knowledge to build much more advanced things and um, and uh, of course i will always um, and of course i will always uh, be uh, in touch so next thing i'm going to present the hardware of the course